So let's look at the actual camera here. This is what it looks like. We'll peel that on off. Full pan and tilt can look up where it, it reveals a reset button and a micro SD card slot. Love that. All right, today we're back with a traditional video here on Big C Vlogs, a new indoor PTZ camera. Special thanks to our friends over at Goldspark who were nice enough to send me their indoor 2K PTZ camera. Of course, we'll get on the overhead rig, we'll go through the unboxing, we'll set up this camera in their app, and then we'll show you some audio video clips directly from this security camera. So click like, click subscribe, indulge in your life at indulgeclothing.com for the merch, and let's check out the Goldspark 2K indoor PTZ camera. All right, so this is a look at the front of the box indoor 2K PTZ camera, pan, tilt, and zoom. It says on-device AI for smarter home security. Just indoor 2K PTZ camera on top, nothing on the bottom. The side mentions a few of the uh, application scenarios, pet monitoring, indoor security, and baby monitoring. This side, it mentions that it has cloud AI analysis, so AI human and pet detection, and to get push notifications onto your phone, which you'll get that with or without paying for the cloud services. And then here is a QR code to download the app that you'll need to set up this camera. The back just has a little goal spark name and mentioned some of the features, 2K resolution, on-device pet detection, on-device person detection, app control, instant notifications, camera alarm, magic pick. I wonder what that is. Motion tracking of people, two-way audio, cloud storage, a private mode, and activity zones. So let's open this on up and take a look at it. So, oh, it's one of those where like the whole thing comes out. <laughs> I like that. Nothing else in this box. So we have everything here. We have a little quick start guide, which tells you your app to download and how to do everything, which we'll show you here. Then we have accessories box, and in here, the actual camera. That's all just cardboard. We'll go through the accessories first. In here, we have some screws for wall mounting it. We have the USB-A to USB-C cable. Love to see that it's USB-C. So that's your power cable for the camera. No, this camera does not have a battery or anything. It has to be plugged in. And of course, a little included USB power brick to power the camera. And we have a little mounting sticker to know where to drill your holes to wall mount it. And lastly, that's it for this box your little wall mounting plate. So essentially you just screw this to the wall with two of your included screws. Looks like they give you two extra. And then this would just twist on to the bottom of the camera. So let's look at the actual camera here. This is what it looks like. We'll peel that on off. Full pan and tilt can look up where it, it reveals a reset button and a micro SD card slot. Love that. These uh, don't do anything on the sides here. Speakers on the back, as well as your USB-C port. The model is the X11. And as I mentioned, here is where this mount would just go into place and you twist it on and boom, you've got it wall mounted. Now, one thing this does have that a lot of other smart PTZ cameras does not have is this little call button. So essentially, if you're using this as like a baby monitor or something, uh, your kid could walk up to this camera, press this button, and it would call your phone through the app to where you're able to speak to your child in the room. Pretty cool feature there. So of course, let's get this set up. So let me download their app. We'll get a micro SD card inside this camera, and then we'll go through the setup process with you. So this is the app you would want to download. Just scan this QR code and download your app. And this is what that app will look like. Install this on your phone, make you an account, We'll show you what to do next. Now, while the app's downloading, I'm gonna take this class 10 micro SD card and insert it into the camera. This will essentially, this will essentially give us 24 seven recording. Very nice. And let's see how long our USB-C power cable is. Not very long. Two, th two feet, three feet tops, not very long. Of course, plug this into your power brick, plug your power brick into power, and then plug your USB-C cable into the back of your camera. And now your camera should have power. I can see the lights lighting up now. We'll let that boot for a moment. There it goes. So this is what the app will look like. Once you're on the screen, just click Add camera now, and we have a plug-in device. We've heard the sound or saw the light. We'll click next. We'll allow it to find nearby devices. 
And look at that, X11, it found it, didn't have to do anything. We'll allow this while using the app to get our Wi-Fi information. There we go, we'll pick our Wi-Fi, put in our Wi-Fi password, and once that's in, click next. And now we're going to connect to the Wi-Fi network that this camera is giving off so that it can give the camera the Wi-Fi information from my Wi-Fi network that I just typed into here. We'll give this a moment to do its thing. Connection succeeded. So I'm just gonna leave the name as Smart Camera. We'll click done. Device added. Let's start. Now it goes over some mounting information. Very cool. And offers a cloud. No thanks. Continue with free plan. All right, well, looks like we have an update. So we're gonna run this update. And once this update's installed, we'll come back and show you how the app works and everything else. Wow, it's been a few moments. It's already at 91%. All right, so our firmware completed successfully. You can see here in the app, we have our smart camera. So if I click the play button, it brings up the camera. Now, a few things here. Make sure my volume, it's not. There we go, that's muted. So you have your sound here. That'll enable the sound for you. Then you've got your audible alarm, your magic pick. You've got more, so you can put the camera to sleep. Position and motion tracking, you can enable that if you would like. And of course you can press here to talk to the camera. So if I click this, it actually moves the camera around and I can bring it to me, have it look up, look down. Hello. So you've got a little bit of information here on the top, the date and time. Of course, this in the corner will take it to full screen where you also have all those same options to take a photo, take a video, move it around, etc. You do have your 2K resolution here, so you can set it to 2K, SD, or auto. I'd of course leave it on 2K and go back. So those same buttons are here to uh, make a video and take a photo. Now, if we click this little round button, this takes us into the settings where you can see the smart camera main settings here. You can see the motion detection settings. So those are enabled. And then there's sensitivity and like how long you want to record. So I'd move that up to like as much as it'll let, 20 seconds. You can have it do the motion tracking. You can schedule a sleep time. I would never schedule a sleep time for a security camera. Then you've got your notification settings here for person, pet, etc. That'll push directly to your phone. Then your alarm settings. You can turn that on or off. Your video settings. So recording resolution is set to SD. I'm gonna push that to 2K. You can rotate the image if needed and your auto night vision is enabled by default. Then you've got your SD card management, your one touch call, so that's on. We'll show you that in a moment. And your SD card management shows my 32 gig card is 29 gigs with the option to format it. Then we've got some audio settings down here. So the alarm will turn that to 100. The uh, voice call is on 100, live audio and video recording. And then you have pan and tilt settings to calibrate the pan and tilt and then share installation guide and remove camera. So we should now officially be recording everything in uh, 2K. So I'm going to uh, do one of my little tests, which is my photo, throw up my peace sign, smile and say cheese. And there we go, that image has been saved. And then if I click here again and click the little recording button, you can see that timer has started and I can say, this is a daytime audio video test on the Goldspark Indoor 2K camera. And then we just click that again to stop the recording. Now, as I did mention to you, there is uh, this button on the front here. If I click this button, it should say someone is calling. And then I can just answer that call and be able to talk to them. It's going to be echoing. But that's a really great feature, especially if you're using this for a baby monitor. I think that is uh, just phenomenal. They can click one button, it'll ring your phone. No matter where you are, as long as your phone has an internet connection, it's going to ring it. And you also don't have to pay for cloud storage to get that feature. So I think that is great. Now I do want to show you a nighttime audio video test, which I'll throw in right here. And this is a nighttime audio video test on this 2K PTV smart camera. And I'll of course go into another room and press this little button to talk to the camera so we can hear exactly how loud and clear the speaker is. Let's do that now. This is a speaker test on the Goldspark 2K PTV camera. And there you have it. That is essentially it. So there you go. That's a look at the setup and video quality from this Goldspark Indoor 2K PTZ camera. Now, for my personal opinion, I think this is a great security camera or baby monitor, especially if you have kids coming home from the school bus by themselves or something. They could easily walk up to this camera, press the call button, talk to you, let you know they're home and everything's good. And then, you know, you can get home from work later. 
That's if people still do that in 2024. I don't really know if that's a thing. But personally, I really like the one call button. I just think that's amazing. Nothing special needed. Just walk up and hit that button and it's calling the person on the other end. The camera quality is phenomenal at 2K. You can see all of the uh, bumps on my face. So great picture quality, really, really smooth app. The app worked instantly, didn't have any issues at all with the setup process. And of course, having the micro SD card means that you don't need cloud storage whatsoever. You can get your recording all directly on your micro SD card and save that monthly fee. So of course, I'll have this exact camera linked down below in my description if you'd like to grab one for yourself. And thanks again to Goldspark. Click like, click subscribe, indulge in your life at indulgeclothing.com for the merch. And we'll see you next time. Deuces.